Now here's the bad news. The bad news is because we don't have money, we can't promote these videos the way we really want to. We're trying our best. But we can't promote them the way we really want to, and therefore not enough people see the videos. If we only had a huge audience on a regular basis, that would be all that we need. Now we have really something that is so professional and so worthwhile. This is what would do it. This could save Israel. This could bring redemption. Because if Israel returns to Hashem and returns to the right ways, that Israel and returns to the right ways and does what she is supposed to do, that could that that could bring the final redemption even. Or could be the first step toward bringing the final redemption. But our hands are tied because our budget is so limited. We're doing everything we can with the very limited resources we have. But we need more funds. If I had $10 million, within one year we'd have a mass movement. Within one year we would change Jewish history. If only I had multi, a multi-million dollar budget, which is a joke compared to the budgets of other organizations. I know that our great JTFers don't have that type of money. I hope that if some multimillionaire sees one of these videos, that he decides he wants to change history, that he, that, that multimillionaire will decide he wants to become, and it doesn't have to be a Jewish multimillionaire, a righteous Gentile. <clears throat> this is the chance to save the world, because if you save Israel, you save the world. The future of the world, the destiny of the world, is, is, is profoundly influenced by what happens in that tiny country called Israel. And so, I know that our fellow JTFers, that my fellow JTFers do not have millions of dollars to give us. Now, uh, uh, oh, the, the story, you know, I, you know, I mean, I tell these stories on the shows that we do here, uh, but I, I really, as a civil rights leader, sometimes I wonder if it's, you know, I try to do it because I try to do things educationally. I had a, I had something which, um, which I ordered involving the organization, involved uh, something that I ordered for the organization, even though I paid for it on my own credit card, uh, even though I paid for it on my own credit card, uh, even though I paid for it on my own credit card. Uh, which I've been doing often <laughs> lately, but um, I ordered it for the sake of the organization for the movement in Israel. And um, there was a company, and they charged me something improperly on on the credit card. They overcharged me for something that I didn't order. They charged me something extra, and it was it involved I think about eighty five dollars extra. So eight, for me, eighty five dollars is real money. I mean, I'm not a rich person. So I called up this company in Tennessee. And I speak to someone on the phone in Tennessee, a very nice uh, gentleman in Tennessee. He was one of the people in the, in the customer service department. He was very polite, very professional.
now the great confederate Kahanist writes, and I quote, Dear Chaim, do you consider some of Joshua Rosenquare's activities to be illegal? Okay, let's start with that. Um, there's no question that's, that uh, many of his activities are illegal. Joshua, Ro- Joshua uh, Rosenberg of Australia is engaged in fraud. He lies. He's, he, he, he lies and, and he's engaged in fraud and libel and slander. Um, his activities are blatantly illegal. And one of these days he's going to get into trouble for it. One of these days he's going to get into trouble. He also tries to break into people's... Um, he tries to break into uh, and, and, and hack people's accounts. He's done this on YouTube and he's done this, he's done this on our forum, trying to break into people's accounts. Um, and so, of course, that's, that's, that's a very serious offense. It's completely illegal. And when you attack a forum, that's a pretty serious felony. Um, anyone caught trying to stage an attack on a forum meaning trying to either hack the forum or trying to uh, attack the forum, uh, stage uh, a different type of attack on a forum to bring the forum down. Um, People who do that and who are caught go to prison. If you look at recent cases, uh, even even kids who have been doing that have been sent to prison, have been given prison terms for this. This is viewed very seriously now. Uh, He's playing with fire with some of the things he's been doing, and there's no question that the things he's been doing are illegal are blatantly illegal. Joshua Rosenberg is a criminal who's involved in illegal activity and uh, someday, someday, he's going to get caught and he's going to be fully exposed in a court of law. God willing. Aside from the fact that God is going is to give him the worst type of punishment in the next world, I mean, he is in for a, he is in for a very, very, very brutal